Hi, my name is Damien, and I am the Assistant Education Curator at the Gladys Porter Zoo. And today, I'm going to introduce to you the most common species of frog we have in South Texas, the Gulf Coast Toad. The Gulf Coast Toads are the largest toad native to southeastern United States. The adults can grow up to about five inches, but are typically closer to three inches. They are sexually dimorphic. Adult females are larger than the males, and the males have a yellow to green throat. Body color may vary, but it is mostly mottled brown. Down the center of the back, it is a narrow cream colored stripe with dark stripes bordered in cream running down each side of the body. But the prominent cranial ridges on the top of the skull are what truly distinguishes them from other toads. They form a wide depression that splits in front of and behind their eyes and connects to a large triangular parotid glands. These glands, which are characteristics of true toads, secrete a powerful toxin to warn off attackers. Gulf Coast toads are widespread in this area. During the day and in periods of drought, they hide in places where they can avoid heat and soak up moisture, like under concrete slabs and in flower pots. At night, they often gather under light to feed on insects. At the Gladys Porter Zoo, they eat a wide variety of foods such as crickets, small rodents, and on occasion, earthworms. True toads, like the Gulf Coast toad, all belong to a group of amphibians called Anurans, which include frogs and toads. Generally speaking, frogs have long legs to leap, while toads have dull, warty-looking skin, shorter legs to hop or even walk. And just because toads have warty-looking skin, they do not cause warts. But if you touch one, just wash your hands. Thank you for watching, and follow us on social media for more videos.